Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I am soon going on a big backpacking adventure to South America for six plus months with my boyfriend Rul. In this video I thought I'd share with you guys what I am bringing with me because I feel like packing for South America can be quite tricky. I've done a backpacking trip before and that was to Southeast Asia but I feel like packing for Southeast Asia is much much easier because there it's pretty much always warm. You only need to bring summer clothes and bikinis and you're pretty much set. South America is much more tricky because the climate and weather will vary a lot. We basically have to be prepared for anything between minus 10 degrees to plus 35 degrees. Both sunshine and rain and everything in between. I am in no means a minimalistic backpacker but I am obviously trying to bring as little as possible. Personally I want to be able to film these videos and to take photos and stuff and already that equipment takes quite a lot of space so yeah. Let me show you guys what exactly I am bringing with me. So as my backpacks I am bringing two different backpacks. I have this smaller backpack and then this bigger backpack. So in here I'm putting like electronics and valuables and that kind of stuff and in here clothes and shoes and that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's start with what I am gonna be packing in this big backpack. This backpack is from Decathlon and I think it's about 70 liters big. So let's start with the clothes. Basically I have packed all of my clothes in different kinds of packing cubes. Most of them are in these kind of compression packing cubes so you can basically make them very flat and thanks to these packing cubes it is also much easier to keep everything organized once it's within the backpack. If I for example know I need a clean shirt, I don't need to be looking through the whole backpack for it, I can just then instead take out the packing cube where I have my shirts. In this packing cube I have a total of 10 shirts, I have 5 different tops and 5 different t-shirts. Then we have all my box that I have packed. Firstly I have these cargo styled black long pants. Then I have these black pants that are a nice thin material and they're very comfortable on a hot day for example. I have this short black and white skirt, this green maxi skirt. Then there's these green shorts and I also have these beige shorts but the idea with the beige shorts is that they're gonna be more of like chill and pajama shorts that I can wear when we're in hostels for example. What I learned when I was trying to put everything in these compression packing cubes that it's much better to fold the clothes in these compression packing cubes instead of rolling them as when you roll them I just really couldn't close the zipper of the compression part but when folding them it worked out very nicely. For my active wear I decided to pack them in a separate packing cube. In this packing cube I have some longer exercise pants, two pairs of exercise shorts in two different colors, two different exercise tops and a sports bra. This packing cube is a bit different, it is from a different brand and I got it as a part of when I bought the smaller backpack. It is a smart packing cube but basically the idea with this packing cube is that there is a hanger here and then you can hang your things like so. In this packing cube I have my long sleeves and then a few other items. For rainy days I have this Nike rain jacket. This is really nice because it's very light and doesn't take a lot of space. Then I have this button an up shirt that I can easily throw on if it's a little bit chillier for example in the evening or whatever. Then I also have just a basic long black sleeved shirt and then I have this black sweatshirt which is nice if it's a bit colder. In this packing cube I also have a sarong so basically this thing <laughs> This is nice if I ever feel like I need a blanket or something to sit on or lie on. You can also use it as a skirt or a, like a bikini cover up. And yeah, I've had this for many years now. I bought it in Bali in 2017 for a few euros and it has definitely paid itself back. Then in here, I also have my towel. So I bought this towel from Decathlon. It's this like micro towel, which is very lightweight and doesn't take a lot of space. And and in here I also have a laundry bag and then I also have this bag that I can use when going to the beach or doing groceries or whatever. What I've understood is that it can be surprisingly cold for example up in the mountains so I'm also bringing this jacket. Yes this is a jacket. This is also from Decathlon and yeah it's a jacket that you can fold inside of its own 
pocket so it doesn't take a lot of space it barely weighs anything and yeah let me show you guys what it looks like so it's basically in here at the moment and you just pull it out like so and then it looks like this it has a hoodie as well although when you wear the hood it does make me look a bit like an egg but yeah, I think this jacket will be perfect for when it actually gets cold. I also have this tiny packing cube where I have these ear warmers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then in here I also have gloves. And if the ear warmers are not enough, I also have a beanie. But yeah, I am really trying to prepare for if it is colder because I hate being cold, even though I am from Finland. I don't mind necessarily cold weather, I just don't like being cold myself, so I'd rather be prepared. I am also bringing this packing cube where I have all of my dresses. So I'm gonna bring this pink orangey dress, this red dress, this black and white dress, a black dress and this black maxi dress. In this last packing cube I have my underwear, socks and swimwear. As for swimwear I am only bringing one pair of black bikinis and one black one-piece swimsuit. The reason why I'm not bringing more is because the first destinations where we're going to I don't think we're gonna be swimming that much actually and then instead of bringing a bunch of fun bikinis I think I'll rather than buy some fun ones whilst traveling there. As for shoes I'm only gonna bring three pairs. I have these black sketcher shoes that are good for sporting and everyday use and these are the ones I'm gonna be also flying in. Then I have these sketcher sandals and I wanted to buy sandals that I can actually walk in and even do small hikes in. Chose them in these colors so that they could also look okay together with dresses. I know it's not the most fashionable option but yeah it's a bit the reality of being a backpacker though. Lastly I have these black basic slippers which are perfect for when staying in a hostel for example. Some random little items that I'm bringing with me is some bug spray, very important, facial wipes, these are some fresh blades for my razor, a deodorant, sunscreen, shampoo and a few scrunchies. Then we're bringing a bit of our own little first aid kit, some things are still missing but here we have some regular band-aids, this like muscle cream, a thermometer, tweezers for if we get a tick, some Scirocco tablets. This is like this calming cream that you can put on if you get mosquito bites or something. Then in this bag I have like my personal medicine, so I have some migraine medicines and stuff. And then what's still missing from here is some blister band-aids, painkillers. We're also probably gonna bring some altitude sickness tablets. In this see-through bag I keep things like my makeup, hairbrush, a small mirror, razor, Razor, nail polish and nail polish remover, tweezers, hair ties, a toothbrush and small scissors. As for the jewelry I'm bringing, I've basically been able to fit everything inside this little jewelry box. In my big backpack I'm also putting this bag that has some random electronic stuff that I don't need super often. In here I have things like camera charger, extra battery, a light, lens wipes, an SD card holder and that kind of stuff. The last few things that I have in my big backpack is this cap. Then I have this sleeping bag linen. So the idea with this is that if we go for example on a multi-day hike, instead of having to bring our own sleeping bag, we can rent a sleeping bag. But I find renting a sleeping bag a bit I don't know, I feel maybe a bit uncomfortable sleeping in a sleeping bag where a lot of people have been sleeping in and I don't know if it's been washed ever. So this is a bit like a sheet for within the sleeping bag. Or it can also be used when sleeping in a hammock, for example. And then lastly, I have a rain cover for the big backpack. Now next, let's pack everything into the big backpack so I can show you where everything goes and what it looks like and how full it is. Being able to open a backpack up like this is crucial in my opinion because if you end up needing something you don't need to empty the whole backpack from the top you can just open it up and take what you need it is so much easier and handier and yeah if you're looking for a backpack I definitely recommend getting one that you can open up completely let's start filling it up let's start with the packing cubes So 
So what's now nice with this backpack is that, well, it's quite full, but it's not completely fully packed. Like there is some air and some room in here still. So if I feel like I want to buy something while there, I still have the space to do so. It gives me a bit more sense of freedom knowing that if I want to buy something, I can. I'm not saying that I'm gonna be shopping like crazy. I just like to have the option to have a bit more space if needed, instead of packing it completely full. This rain cover I'm gonna put in here. So if I need it, I can whip it out very quickly. And up here is basically where I'm gonna put my hygienic products and stuff. This cap I can just easily clip onto here. My slippers and sandals fit well into these little side pockets that are on both sides. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I also have this tiny wet bag. And so I have now everything packed in this backpack. I didn't pack it now the best. As you can see, it's a bit lumpy. So I'll probably redo it a bit better. As for my smaller backpack, I have this backpack from Tropic Field. It's a nest backpack. So what's nice with this backpack is that it has a lot of different features. First of all, you can also open this backpack completely like the big one. So like this. From the inside, it looks like this. Over here, we have some smaller pockets. It has this thing that you can put up here like this. It's like a hard shell thing and a quick access pocket. And there's even an extra pocket in the quick access pocket. Then here at the top part, there's a little pocket on the back side of the backpack. There's this hidden pocket where I can put my passport and stuff. And if I would be using a suitcase, which I'm not doing now, but you could also technically put this on top of a suitcase and it would stay there. There's also a separate pocket for my laptop. Here there's a pocket, but if you need extra space, you can take this thing out and you clip it onto here and then you can use this pocket and you can also put something here and then at the bottom of this backpack there's still one more little pouch i think it's called a kangaroo pouch you can take it out like this and then you attach it like so and now the backpack has become a little bigger so this would be handy for example if going to the beach and i have a wet towel that i don't want to put with my other stuff i can then put it in this little pouch here. So yeah, I think it's a very handy backpack. So firstly, in these pockets here, I'm gonna put my power bank. And then I have this like fanny pack. That's like the invisible bag or something you can put basically your bank card or money or whatever in here and put it like underneath your clothes and you can barely see it. I use this a lot in Southeast Asia, so I'm sure I'll be using it now as well. So most of my chargers I'm gonna keep in the big backpack in the pouch that I showed you guys, but things like my phone charger, I want to keep in this bag so that if I need it when flying or whatever, I have it. So I'm gonna put that in this little pouch here. And then on this one I'm now leaving empty, but in this one I'm gonna put the little charger for this camera that I'm now using basically. And then I have this little pouch and in here I'm putting my little wallet. So it's nice and safe there. And then I also have this pen because you never know when you might need a pen. So that one I'm gonna still add to this pocket here in the front. Then in this top pocket, I am putting my adapter. This is a universal adapter that you should be able to use anywhere in the world. And here in the top, I'm also putting this little pouch. And in this little pouch, I have a little lock, which is pink. And then I have some earplugs, which will probably be needed, I am sure. I also have some sunglasses. And then this card reader thing that you sometimes need when doing big purchases with a Dutch bank card. And these two things I'm still able to fit in this top pocket here. And then I have my laptop. This is a 13 inch laptop, but I believe you can fit a 15 inch laptop in here. And what is nice because I have this like protective case for it. And because this laptop is so small, I can fit the case and the laptop together in this laptop department. So that gives the laptop a bit of extra protection. Then in this little hidden pouch, I'm gonna put my 
passport and vaccination card. I am also planning on bringing a book and my idea is to bring one book with me and then once I've read it I will try and swap it to another one. For example in hostels they often have book swapping available. I also have this rain cover for my smaller backpack. I am also bringing some little earphones. I've used to have these quite big and bulky earphones but they take quite a lot of space so I decided to upgrade to these smaller earphones instead. Then in this big compartment I'm gonna put my big camera, so my Nikon D750. For a long time I've been debating on which lenses to bring. I would have this really really nice lens that's a 70 to 200 millimeter lens but it is so big and bulky and just the lens itself weighs 1.2 kilos I believe so I have decided to leave it behind this time I hope I won't regret it too much but I honestly just don't have room for it anymore so instead I'm bringing this 50 millimeter lens and then here in this pouch I also have a 20 millimeter wide angle lens then in this pouch I keep some extra laptop accessories I have an SD card reader and a hard drive and I'll also be putting my laptop charger in here. Then I still have some tripods and in here I have my new camera that I haven't gotten to use yet because I'm still waiting for this lens protector thing before I want to use it. But I recently bought this Osmo Action 4 camera so it's an action camera and I am so excited to use this. I bought this for underwater shots and that kind of things but also for when if I feel like we're in a slightly dodgy area and I don't feel comfortable using my vlog camera then I feel like this action camera will be a bit more discreet and low-key and not bring so much attention to it so for that this will be perfect. In this little patch I also have the little charging case for it and some little accessories and that kind of stuff. Something I still want to buy also is a diving case and then like a floatable tripod so if using the action camera in water and I drop it it won't sink to the bottom but it will be floating at the top so yeah I still need to remember to order that before we go and then I of course also have my vlog camera which is a Sony ZV-1 which well I can't pack now because I am filming but that I am obviously also bringing with me and so I have now everything packed in here and yeah it's not the lightest bag because it does have heavy cameras and stuff in it but yeah those are the sacrifices I have to do a little bit if I want to be able to film and edit these videos for you guys. Then the last thing that I want to show you guys is this sling bag. This sling bag is something I'm just gonna pack inside of my backpack but basically the reason why I got this sling bag is for the sake of my vlogs and photos so when out and about in a city if I keep all my cameras in the backpack it is not very handy because every time I would like to take a video clip or a photo I would have to stop, take the backpack off, take the camera out, take the photo put it back on like it, it's gonna take a bit too much time and effort i'm gonna end up taking zero photos and i also don't think it's very safe to necessarily always keep your camera hanging around you and my vlog camera constantly in my hand and this sling bag is basically what i'm gonna be using during the daytime when we're exploring out and about when i don't need any clothes or anything when i just need like my cameras basically so it's a very comfortable sling bag that you wear like this in here i can easily fit my cameras it even has these built-in dividers where i can put the different lenses in and stuff it also has this front pocket and it has a bunch of little pockets and stuff it even has these little things here in the front but basically the idea with these are is that you can hang a tripod for here it is made out of recycled materials and it seems really high quality quality. The last little accessory I want to mention that I bought for the sling bag is this thing. Basically what this is, is that you can attach this part to your phone. So put it like inside the phone case and then you can attach it to your bag. So if anyone would try to steal my phone, it's going to be attached to the sling bag. So it won't be as easy. But yeah, that concludes this packing video. Of course, there might be something I'm bringing that I end up realizing I never use. We'll see. But I hope this has given you some useful ideas and inspiration on what you would maybe need to pack if you're planning on going on a longer backpacking trip to South America or somewhere else. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join the journey backpacking to South America, then remember 
remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye!